Check this out. Listen, bro. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Listen. I ain't on this motherfucker trying to turn the people against you, Bootsy. I ain't on this motherfucker trying to pick no fight, no argument, or none of that, nigga. I'm just simply, I'm just simply, I was broken hearted. Academic, what's up, baby? You want to go live with me? Let me see something. All right. Against you, John, I ain't need... Look, dog, just like you got niggas that's probably willing to come smoke me. I got a thousand niggas that ask me, can they handle the business, nigga, on the love of BG, on Tudor Raw, and all the different niggas that fuck with you and love you. I ain't even on that type of time. Nigga, I love BG to death and what you did for BG while he was in jail. We highly appreciate that. A nigga ain't trying to discredit you for nothing that you have done for your people or for the community or what you have intended to do for me, cause don't get it fucked up now, Boosie. Now, I ain't around them motherfuckers putting all our business on no motherfucking internet. Like, nigga, it ain't been times where you done sent your girl over there and got money from Pakistan for free. Not for no beaters, not for no verses. Nigga, just, just because you needed it, nigga. When you were building that big ass house out there and you were spending all your goddamn money and you were out of town and you needed help, nigga, don't act like I ain't help you while you coming on the internet. I ain't never told the world none of this type of shit what I have done for you. So don't get on that motherfucker acting like goddamn Rollo just around this motherfucker saying shit and you goddamn just done did shit for niggas and niggas ain't did nothing for you because you have caused a lot of harm to the community. You have caused a lot of harm to people. You done did fucked up things to people as well. So don't be around this motherfucker backing like it's just on Rollo John. Hell no. Nah. Nigga. If you wanted to talk to me, you get on the internet. Nigga, I've been in prison five years and ten months. How the fuck I got your number? Why in the fuck I got your number, boo? When, when I got your number? Nigga, you went on, you went on Bravo Club and said that pussy ass shit about me, called me a rat. You went on the internet and you, you went, you knew them people were gonna post that shit. You knew them people were gonna make that a big ass motherfucking deal. You went on the internet and did that shit, right? So, when I'm out here saying shit, now all your fans and shit wanna say, oh, Rollo speaking on boots. What about when he called me a motherfucking rat? But now your ass got a federal gun charge, you around the motherfucker crying to my help you and all this shit, and you wish you could pay a nigga to take the charge like I tried to pay a nigga to take my motherfucking charge. What's the difference? If you trying to tell the security that, you know what I'm saying, whatever situation, What's the difference from me paying a nigga $400,000 to take a talk? What's the fucking difference? Nigga, nigga, y'all around the motherfuckers talking about Rollo made it juicy for these people. When I, when right after that I said I had to like out, I, I knew these people. But yet, y'all skipped, y'all skipped all that shit. Oh, whole motherfucking world. Damn, Rollo a rat, Rollo a rat. Y'all bitch ass nigga can't name a motherfucking person on this earth. On God. Earth that went to jail for Terrell Rollo Day. But now on my on my side, I'm I'm able to talk, I'm able to fit. And then nigga, I was in jail. I was in motherfucking federal prison. I couldn't fight for myself, I couldn't fend for myself, I couldn't get on live, I couldn't do none of the fucking shit y'all were doing. But now I'm out here in every club. And no act like a nigga ain't making no money. Nigga, I made eight million dollars from the rap game. 300 sent me a big old set. Empire sent me a big old tech. Nigga, I go to shows every motherfucking week and say, Ark shit, pop shit, and the whole motherfucking club, and the whole entire club say, 12 can't pop shit, nigga. Rollo, nigga. Guy go in that motherfucking perform a solo, say, Ark shit, pop shit, and the whole club say, 12 can't stop shit, nigga. And, and let's get this clear. Come out of rap career. Do it look like I give a fuck about a rap career, nigga? Do it look, nigga. I got caught with a thousand pounds. That should tell you. Terrell Rollo Davis don't give a fuck about no motherfucking rap. For real, you damn fool. Come on, you will have, have 
who the ever thought that I would have a rap career anyway? See, I was in the bluff selling dope, doing what I wanted to do. And you up, look, look, man. I love Juicy. I love BG. I love the little nigga Tudor Raw. Shout out, ain't never been on that nigga. I ain't letting no nigga fuck with him. I'm a stand on business. I'm always do right by your family and shit like that. But Boosie, don't act like, don't act like you. Oh, I got, oh, you got my number. Nigga, when I was in the feds and you got down, went on Bravo Club, you had so many niggas around you, so many niggas around you that had a contact on me. You had motherfucking gold mouth with a nigga gold mouth trying to take you the phone inside the mall and say, hey, Rollo right here, and get what you did. You walked off on the phone, nigga. You walked off on the phone. So don't get up on that motherfucking internet. And nigga, I came, I come. I always come to a nigga like, hey, John, let's go ahead and get this straight. Let's go ahead and get this straight before goddamn this shit escalates to another level. Because y'all nigga around them motherfuckers, niggas could have had conversations before blood was even shed. And all the time I'm telling niggas, we need to talk. We need to sit down and talk. We need to sit down and talk. Just one conversation can save thousands of motherfucking lives, nigga. You got a whole clan of nigga that's screaming Team Boots, and I got a whole clan of nigga that's screaming Team Rollo. Why are we motherfucking seeking you doing this shit? Because I'm telling you, I'm willing to sit down. I'm telling you right now, I'm willing to sit down and talk. Nigga, we ain't even got to I can show you, nigga. I got, I can show you, nigga. I got motherfucking, I can show you right here. I got all the paperwork right here. I got every motherfucking piece of paperwork, every number that I ever had while I was in prison, every load of that motherfucking. I got all my statements and reason. I got all this shit right here. I got all the under seal shit that you want to see. I got everything in this motherfucker. Wayne, every motherfucking seal motion, every document, every PSI. I got every document right here in this folder. We can go to the motherfucking court. I've been having this shit the whole six years I was in prison, nigga. You all right? Please. Nigga, I've been having this. I've been having this shit the whole six years I was in prison, nigga. And, I, and I'm telling you, I'll pull up. I'll pull up. I'm ready to talk. But y'all niggas, y'all niggas be wanting a nigga to, y'all be wanting to kick a nigga down for y'all can stand over, nigga. Y'all know for a fact. Oh, let me cut the light on. Go in my closet because I don't even want my kids. Kids to be on this type of time. Y'all nigga know that Rollo, Terrell Rollo Day, majority of these, these niggas that's rapping right now, before live, when it was my mistake, live mistake, that pill spinner Rollo, nigga, I was helping niggas. When it was World Star, I was helping niggas. Now that niggas getting paid all that YouTube pages and all this old shit, they don't need Rollo, so they want to step on Rollo and say fuck Rollo and things that matter. But it was a time when all these niggas were coming to Pakistan. You boots in, you sent your girlfriend over there to get some money. You sent your bitch over there to get some money, nigga. Don't act like you didn't. And, and when she went in there, what she seen, nigga? What she seen, nigga? She seen some shit. That'll show you that Rollo ain't never need the motherfucking rap game and won't ever need it in his life, nigga. So we ain't gonna sit on this motherfucker and act like, like nigga, you did me a favor. I tried, nigga, I tried to pay you because that I had the money. I could have paid you for the future. Hey, you talking about nigga, you act like you the only one around this motherfucker doing real nigga shit. Nigga, I nigga, I tried to pay you from jail. I tried to pay you from jail. And all these pussy ass niggas that's out here, they let, they, yo, what these niggas did, y'all? They let this bitch ass nigga John Doe pull up on them everywhere showing them paperwork. But when Rollo get out of jail, oh, I am. Niggas dodging me. Niggas dodging me. I'm like, nigga, I got the paperwork. Where you want me to pull up at? Where you want me to come to? I'm ready to show you everything. But I ain't finna get on the motherfucking internet posting shit. I could have been exposed, Duke of Wild. I could have been exposed, Manu. I could have been exposed half of all these niggas out here that y'all think real niggas. I can expose these niggas, but get what? That shit, nigga, I, that shit ain't gonna give me no money. I want some money. You smell me? And doing that shit, that ain't even really pleasing to God. So I wasn't even gonna make it hard for niggas like Duke of Wild, Manu, all these niggas. Manu was never a fucking plug. He was a brokerer. 
I go out there to Cali, I don't smoke weed. He know a couple people he handled the business. He want nobody to ever tell on him. Ever tell him on, nigga. So all this old bitch ass shit, nigga, what in the fuck is wrong with you niggas? So nigga, I'm coming on the, I'm coming. And, and y'all what, I really honestly didn't even mean that shit to come out my mouth when I was like, oh, I don't want to be like, boo. Nigga, I was just thinking it, and it just ooh, it came out my mouth, nigga, cause I just be talking, and I just be having fun, and living life, and doing what the fuck I want to do. But, nigga, all these people, we ain't even got, I'm tell, all 8, 9,000 you motherfuckers, y'all can tell that nigga, come on, let's sit down, let's have a talk, because you keep doing that, and me keep doing this, I ain't gonna do nothing, but call some bullshit in the land. I ain't gonna do now. You got two power. And nigga, you in Atlanta, Georgia, you crazy, man. Who the fuck in Atlanta gonna put you before me? If they do that, they the dumbest nigga in the world. But check this out, dog. For the love of B Jizzle, for the love of Tudor Ross, for the love of Juicy Badass, and all the different people, I've been willing to sit down with you and talk to you. I've been willing to pull up with the paperwork. Hey, dog. This is what went on. This is what occurred. These are the people. You want me to get on this motherfucker and tell you who I'm going to pay $400,000 to? Huh? Huh? That what you want a nigga to do? You want a nigga to talk about all these different cases and murders they tried to charge me with? You want me to get... No, last time I got on the internet putting all my motherfucking business on the internet, I almost got a license. I got caught with a thousand pounds getting on the internet. So I'm going to go this way with it. If if you ain't willing to come and communicate and talk about the shit, then it, it just won't be out there. Then you just gonna be misled and we are gonna be all confused together around this motherfucker. Cause whatever, you you gotta be, hey dog, you gotta grow out of that shit, Jones. You gotta be willing to sit down and talk to a man before you even take it to that level because everybody got guns. We got young niggas sitting at the store with guns. Everybody around this motherfucker got guns. Nigga, ain't, they ain't stop making guns when they made y'all nigga guns. That nigga come out, nigga. And by the way, they never, nigga, when I was six, 15, 14, 16, they ain't never called me a nigga that sent the hit. Nigga, I got convicted of shooting a nigga. I got convicted of handling business at a young age. And still been handling my business, nigga. Well, however you want to go about this, but I'm telling you, dog, that this ain't going to cut it. We ain't got to keep going to the internet saying this, you getting on Twitter and doing your little thing, and you know I'm saying shit. I'm being the bigger man and saying, come on, dog, let's sit down and talk. 